the offspring of these watchers. What well, broke that down was is, uh, I had just had a fit about two weeks ago about her calling him and talking to him because our situation is what's happened to us and everything. <laughs> and she reversed that shit right back on to me. It's a tit for tat now. That's what it is. Man, <laughs> if she'd ever just figure it out, she'd be happy. <laughs> But her being happy and uh, her children being happy is one thing. I mean, her boys, shit, they like, fuck it. Come on. And I get along real good with boys, but boys, they're different from the daughter. The daughter is like, well, what am I going to do? Don't leave me. I won't come too. And that's where that $46,000 house come into play. And I'm like, no, nope, it's right there by a chicken plant. You don't want to live there. And I try to explain to her everything, you know. Hell, I'm, I'm just down at the point where fuck it. I'm going to let her do whatever she wants to do with us. And I don't know anything else to do because shit, man, I can't, go, I can't do nothing. I am stuck. I'm stuck like Chuck. Worse than Chuck, really, fuck. Can't get no worse than him. I mean, you got something you can work with. And, I pay, and what pisses me off about that machine is, is because I was set up to do something else. And learned it. And got it down. Oh, hell, man, here's my product right here. I, I look at it sometimes and it just pisses me off. I'm like, <laughs> You see this? Man, that's creativity. That come out of my mind. And I wanted to uh, capitalize on it, you know. But shit, she fucked the machine up so bad that I couldn't do anything. Well, now I have to turn around. I have to learn a whole new way. Something totally different. And that just takes time. The rabbi. I, I just, a capitalism, I do believe in capitalism, I believe in this shit big time. And, and it's, it's, everybody has a dollar sign, you know, what, they, what they're what willing to go for. Everybody's got a dollar sign. That's where capitalism comes into play and free market and all that shit. Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fucked me up, man. I, I just I can't do anything anymore. I've turned into a seasonal worker, and that's the worst thing in the world to be. And that's not even doing what I do, because now what I want to do is I want to do this machine, because I know the machine will pay off. And that was the goal in the beginning, but there's been so many damn other distractions that's just totally fucked us. Hmm. And now, you know, after after I done went through the whole thing of, <laughs> I'm gonna do it this way and this way only. It's totally changed. I mean, she's she's something else, man. I mean, she's a lot of fun to be around, but man, she drive crazy. Yeah, I love her. I want to be with me. You know, I like to fight and argue every now and then. She's a lot of fun. Because that always ends up fight fuck. <laughs> I got her broke in good. Do you want to fight or fuck? <laughs> no shit. Uh, generally, it's let's fight a little bit and fuck a lot. Yeah, that's generally the way it is. But. Man, it's, a, it's some... <laughs> Some people are programmed that way, you know. That's the way they have to be treated in life. And, way, and the only way to get it is to fuck up. You know, and that, damn. I guess that's what I need to be. <laughs> but I'd like to be successful doing some, Or if not a success, not to have to worry about what I'm going through now. I mean, my God. I get shit fixed where there's no problems, then that daughter, she ain't gonna cause me no problems at all. <laughs> and that is, that, that's a big fear, hold on.